I used to think there was nothing left to be found, but I'm realizing that we're really just scratching the surface of what is really here. The first dive I did in a fissure, I almost wanted to drop my regulator. I didn't expect anything that beautiful to exist. No other team has ever studied the biology or the ecology of underground fissures. When we dive in the fissure, we're carrying around 40 kilos of equipment. The strenuous access can make it very, very risky. <laughs> we're creating a zip line to gain better access to the water. Wow. It's a little bit steep over there, so we want to be very careful. But sometimes we just have to jump. You get this powerful brain freeze. When you first come into the fissure, the very crystal clear water is a dead giveaway that there's not much living in the water column. If you look closer, you'll start seeing that there are in fact thousands of animals. There's many different habitats within one fissure. We have species living here which can't be found anywhere else in the world. We vacuum the biological material off the wall, bring it to the surface, as we're collecting samples to take back to the lab. So far, we've made some exciting discoveries, like a cobapod species no one knew existed in Iceland. No. I'll have to take it to the lab, and I'll go through the whole sample. I really like combining these two passions of mine, the diving and the science. When we get over that, we're going to be in open water.